Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about how to authenticate Azure Functions app by using Azure Active Directory. For that, let's head off to Azure portal first. Let's navigate to all resources. After that, uh, click on create. Here, uh, select Functions app. For creating a function function app, we need to choose a resource group. I'm choosing the existing one. If you want, you can choose a new one also. Here, uh, we need to give a unique uh, function app name. Yeah, it is taking that name. Here, uh, after that, uh, we uh, we should choose a code or Docker container. Uh, I am choosing code here. Here, uh, for runtime stack, uh, you can choose uh, whichever language you want. I am choosing .NET. And uh, version also, there are two types of versions like uh, six and three point one. I am choosing six. And reason, uh, if you want, you can choose whichever the reason uh, is uh, closer to you. I am choosing Central US here. Click on review and create. Then click on create. Let's wait till deployment is uh, successful. Yeah, deployment is successfully completed. Now click on go to resource. Here, uh, before performing any authentication using Azure Active Directory, if we click on this link, will be freely accessible will not perform any sort of authentication now we are going to perform authentication using azure active directory for that let's click on azure active directory first we are going to create a new application object for that we need to click on uh, app registration otherwise uh, we'll do one thing we'll uh, create the new one by using uh, this function app itself For uh, performing authentication to this uh, function app, we need to click on authentication here. Yeah, we need to click on this uh, authentication option. We need to click on add identity provider. We need to select Microsoft as the identity provider. You can choose Facebook, Google, Twitter also. Here I am choosing uh, Microsoft because I am using Azure Active Directory. Here, uh, there is an option called uh, create a new app registration. We can create uh, from uh, here itself. Okay, I am choosing this option. You can um, pick an existing app registry. If, uh, if you already have uh, an existing uh, application object, here I am uh, choosing create new app registration. I am giving the unique name. Okay. Uh, I will leave as it is. Uh, all the options okay uh, I will click on next permissions and I will click on add yeah, it is successfully added now if we head over to function apps okay when we click on overview here there is a URL right if we copy this now it is asking for uh, for us to sign in that means authentication we are performing authentication using azure active directory okay uh, that is the reason for making this video just we are performing azure ad authentication for Azure Functions app. Okay. This is the process. If we choose create new app registration from Azure Functions app itself. Now I will show you the process. If you want to use the existing app uh, registration. For that let's head off to Azure Active Directory first. 
here for creating uh, a new app registration we need to click on app registration option here here we need to click on new registration here we need to give registration name app registration new name i am giving uh, as demo function test here in a redirect uri option okay we need to click on we need to select web option here okay after that in this uh, url place you need to give a perfect url um, for that first we need to go to function app in azure portal here we, we need to copy this url here we need to paste this url and we need to add some extra some extra works uh, after this url for that let's uh, go to the documentation first here they are saying after adding url we need to add these uh, words okay this path let's copy this path and we'll add it here okay. let's click on register it got uh, successfully created after that what we need to do means we need to click on expose an api here we need to click after uh, application id uri there is a option called set we need to click on that if we click on set it will uh, this uri will be automatically generated if you want you can change this to your uh, custom uri for that uh, you need to follow some sort of steps for this moment i am leaving as it is and i am clicking on save and after that we need to click on add on scope okay here we need to give the scope name here i am giving as uh, just i am giving as access here we need to give display name description uh, in description also i am giving the same mm, we need to click on add scope okay yeah it is successfully added after that we need to go to the azure uh, functions app here uh, we need to for adding existing app registration we need to click on authentication option first after clicking on uh, authentication option here uh, it is showing the identity provider uh, we added just a moments ago for this demo i am uh, deleting this this option okay yeah we need to click on add identity provider we need to click on uh, microsoft and here we need to choose uh, pick an existing app registration in this directory uh, which one we can yeah this is the one we created demo function test okay it will uh, automatically generate the issuer url here and uh, i will leave all the options as it is next i will click on add it is successfully added okay now we click on this url it will uh, ask us to log in using microsoft okay because we have implemented authentication using azure active directory let's click on this url see here it is asking us to log in this is how you can uh, perform authentication using azure active directory for azure functions app 
Mm, thank you. Have a nice day.